What's up, gays? You may have seen Johnny Somali's twinkish face floating around your timeline over the past couple of months for things like being rude, being cucked, being pressed, being slapped, being choked, being knocked out, and many, many more. Most recently, he's been arrested and charged for basically being a public nuisance with a trial pending. I did do a video on him earlier this year that basically covers like his rise as a content creator and all the, the antics he went through this summer. You could check that out up there. That video covers things in a little more detail, but before we jump into what got him arrested, I will do a speed run version of what he did this summer. Previously on... Johnny Somali is an IRL streamer who made his name off being annoying in public without there ever really being a punchline or thought or creativity put behind it. Just loud offensive words or sounds and that's basically it. Nothing nothing else really there. It's really um, 14 year old edgelord style content. His content did start off a little more innocently though with his earlier content being more travel vlogs across Southeast Asia. But it's only when he decided to plant his feet in Japan that but he finally seemed to figure out that his audience was fully acoustic and that all he needed to do was to be loud and annoying to a culture where that is not only heavily looked down upon but also illegal. I will call the US Embassy. This is racism. You know what racism is? His antics would start off fairly mellow and then exponentially grow to become more uh, aggressive towards the Japanese people. He'd start by doing things like publicly calling Japanese people dumb. They're saying low IQ. Bro, I told him Japanese people can't even read. <laughs> and harassing women with his negative riz. What's your name? Giving viewers the access to TTS would not only increase the amount of racism and offensiveness in his streams, but it also meant less work for him to be entertaining. Now, I'm not saying being offensive or racist isn't funny, because it can be, obviously. Oftentimes, there is casualties to comedy. Like, there has to be, there can be a butt of a joke. Comedy can be mean. My issue with Johnny's content specifically, though, is that it doesn't seem like anything he does is um, in the spirit of trying to make people laugh or be entertaining. It seems like it's in the spirit of, will this get me more views? Which is like a self-centered pursuit, which I believe is the exact opposite of what it means to be an entertainer. Also, we'll get into this a bit more later, but for someone that, you know, style of content is very shocking and offensive. He seems to have like pretty thin skin and is very cowardly whenever he's confronted with any kind of resistance. He has no spine and seems to back down against any sort of adversity. It's just very weasel-like behavior, which I can't get behind. Anywho, with TTS added to his inventory, he'd be able to perform such acts as playing offensive music on a train, playing sex noises around children, which is disgusting. His first big controversy would be yelling the words Hiroshima Nagasaki on a train. Hiroshima Nagasaki! Because bad word equal funny, which would lead to him being confronted by a nerdy looking Asian American. Where are you from? I'm from America. Where are you from? What's your name? Texas, buddy. Don't touch me, brother. Korean War, North Korean War, you know what we did to you. That night, an alleged Yakuza member would somehow find him and pull up on him on a motorbike, and Big Balls Johnny would kind of just r run and cower, basically. I'm good, I'm good, we good. We good. The next day, he'd have the police called on him, and he'd try to get out of it by playing the race card. We'll call the U.S. Embassy. This is racism. You know what racism is? Forgetting that he's in, he's in Japan, not California. Days after that, he'd be pressed by a gang of Yakuza and a Japanese IRL streamer who is playing intermediary. As per usual, he plays dumb, or maybe he just is. Probably the latter. Not learn. You're trying to make excuses. No, no, no. I'm not trying to make excuses. You they, are making excuses. They don't understand TTS. Okay, okay, okay. No. And gives this half-assed apology and continues on. Later that night, though, he gets assaulted on the street. Shit, if I go back and- Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the- this would mark the first of 
many random attacks against Johnny. The next day, he'd get G-checked on a train by the same Yakuza that was pressing him the night before, this time getting called out for sitting in a handicap seat. They would both end up leaving the train at the same station, and the cops would break up their dispute. But as he made his way onto the street, he'd get slapped in the face by the same Yakuza member, and then just proceed to run away and cower like a real, like a real tough guy, a real, a real roughneck. The Tokyo Manji gang, bro, that was like the Japanese FBI, bro. They pulled up on me with three cars, bro. Unmarked. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, whoa, no, whoa. The following day, he'd meet up with a former Yakuza member turned politician to make an official apology to get some of the heat off of him. The apology is once again insincere. Uh, today, we want to talk to the people of Japan, and I want to make a sincere apology. I love Japan, and I really want to... Um, Bring love, you know what I mean? I don't want no more, let's make peace, everybody. And later that night, this is a video you're actually probably familiar with. I know this was floating around my timeline quite a bit when it happened. Um, he would get attacked once again, this time getting choked out on stream. Hey, all my real n drop in Discord right now. Hop in Discord. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. On this episode. So that covers everything that happened in the first video I made. For context, that all took place between like May and July 2023. So this next section, I will bridge the gap from what happened on August 2023 all the way up to the moment of what happened that led to his arrest. On June 29th, his streaming platform, Kick, would end up banning him for 72 hours for all of his recent antics. On August the 18th, Johnny would get involved with another confrontation, this time by some British dude who gets confrontational about how he's been acting. What? And what? And what? I'm more Japanese right now. Johnny's big mistake here, his fatal flaw, was posturing like he wanted to fight as the guy was clearly walking away and already done with him. Enjoy, enjoy your night, bro. I don't want to kill nobody tonight. Go enjoy your night tonight. It's impossible. You're not going to kill nobody. Ain't, no, ain't nobody say we want to You're not going to kill nobody. The British dude ends up slapping him in the face after a back and forth. You! Bro, bro, I'll rob you. Listen to me. Listen to me. I need to go close. And as the two are being separated, and Johnny is safely behind a wall of his friends, he continues to cosplay as someone who wants to fight. Let's go. Uh, please, no. Let's go then. Please. The amount of public L's that Johnny has taken is honestly, it's incredible. But on to the next incident. Johnny would keep things low key for a while until September the 10th. Johnny would by chance bump into Twitch streamer Meowco. For context, it's against Twitch's TOS to stream with a creator that has been banned from the platform. Johnny obviously has been permabanned from Twitch, so just by the mere action of him being on her stream, it would get her banned. Johnny would threaten and try to intimidate the Japanese girl until she ran off and literally started crying. We don't like Twitch streamers on cake. Okay, then we're, we are not talking. And then turn around. Bye bye. Get banned. Bitch. Get banned. Bitch. Get banned. You don't get banned. F me, yo, yeah. You better walk away. <laughs> While her boyfriend just stood there and got cucked out. A couple days later, on September the twelfth, another video you may have seen floating across your timeline was Johnny and a friend who were dual IRL streaming to their own accounts. The pair would get confronted by an angry white guy, and both of them would get knocked out one after the other. Oh! Man, as much as I dislike Johnny, and I think his spirit animal is probably like a, like a worm, and not even like an earthworm, something that has some kind of like actual real world practical value that like has a task to perform. I mean like a, like an intestinal worm that kind of just lives in the crevices in the ring around your anus. Outside of that, I do actually need to like commend Johnny for his complete lack of shame. The amount of times he's taken real world L's on camera that are like completely emasculating, such as him getting beaten up and attacked multiple times and him doing nothing to defend himself and just running away. Or even in this instance where he uh, finds someone who's weaker than him, like a Japanese woman, and like bullies her until she cries. Nowhere in that compact size brain of his did he ever think, wow, I look like a complete fool right now. Like he's never taken a day off. He just continues to push forward. Like he doesn't even really seem to care about anything but his mission. And his mission might be, um, you know, solely just getting views, which is gay and acoustic. But 
you know, outside of that, I, I think it is is pretty impressive just how driven he is. And, you know, respect where respect is due. On September the 21st, Somali would trespass on a construction site while yelling Fukushima. How original. He's getting mad, bro. He's getting activated, dog. Check. He's getting activated, dog. He's getting activated, dog. He'd be arrested for the trespassing incident later that day, where you can see him once again not taking it seriously, playing it up for the camera because content over everything. Charge it up. And this speedrun of his lore brings us completely up to date on what actually got him arrested and what's happening now. On October the 13th, he'd be arrested one final time for, quote, uh, forcible obstruction of business, which, according to the police report, he's being accused of, quote, disrupting the business of restaurants inside of a beef bowl in Osaka, Japan. Example of his disruptions are entering the kitchen while streaming and playing loud music. Now, I've seen two videos floating around my timeline of possibly the moment that ended up getting him arrested. I'm having a real tough time trying to decipher which one is actually the real one. Uh, so I'm gonna show you both of them. Both of them kind of fit the description, to be honest with you. In this video, Johnny and a friend are visibly drunk and TTS is playing loud, annoying noises. Shocking, I know. No music. <laughs> and as the loud, annoying noises are being loud and annoying, you can see Johnny trying to leave before they end up getting kicked out. We gotta eat some out. We gotta eat some out. We go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. The other video is Johnny and a friend eating with racist music playing and bomb sirens going off while they're dressed as maids. Either way, the next day on October the 14th, Johnny would be arrested for the incident. You can see him here also not really caring too much about the arrest, but what he doesn't know is that Japan doesn't give a f their conviction rate, for better or for worse, is like close to 100%. And finally, on November the 2nd, Johnny would officially be charged with, quote, forceful obstruction of business. Between his arrest on October the 14th and him being charged on November the 2nd, he has been in police custody this whole time, uh, being there for questioning. So far, he hasn't been arrested with anything related to the uh, incident at the construction yard, whatever you wanted, the building that was being constructed. But, uh, uh, if anything does happen there, I will update you in a further video. Now him being charged doesn't mean that he's like guilty and he's facing time or anything. Uh, he still needs to go through a trial, but if you remember, the conviction rate in Japan is close to 100%. So if you're charged for a crime, it's pretty much gonna happen. Uh, it's not like in America where you're uh, innocent till proven guilty. In Japan, it's guilty. That's actually basically it. It's, you don't have to prove anything, you're just guilty. Crime under Article 223 of Japan's Penal Code uh, says that it carries a sentence of no more than three years. So the sentence could be a month, it could be three years or anywhere in between or it's either that or a possible fine of no more than 500,000 yen, which translates to up to $3,300 USD around that. Either way, it seems like he's going to be out of action until the trial begins. And trust me, this is something I will be following closely, but that is it for today.